happen. What if Soma is just cursed with bad luck? Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Deserting her now, breaking your oath. That Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me. Naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me. Humbled as I was, I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know I can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others, Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna, well... Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I am eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Abel. Red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. We are a curse, visited upon them all. Leave no house unburned. This is what they get for helping Rand Grand Bridge from Soma. For licking Eldam and Wickman's boots.
the smell of burning roof thatch and heady turf fire. Now that was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. Juicy to be left to rot. You have lost your apples. But I have. Oh, a devilish wind took me over, and I worry for them. But I've saved the finest and the juiciest. Oh, these apples explode in your mouth with the iridescent light of Jesus. What makes them special? An apple is an apple. No. Oh, I beg to differ, my friend. You see, every year we make the pilgrimage to the west. Hame's farm. Farmer Hame, to the west. Yes, we call him the Hammer, and his apples are fine. Have this sweet iron tinge in them. My friends have already made it back. They are surely feasting already, but... I fell on some misfortune. The cart busted. Oh, me apple cart hath fallen! These apples must be eaten, they're too juicy to be left to rot! Valde in regno de Egypti Faraoni. Obsessus cum profeta mosi imprecari mala magna que fecerat. Deus Mosi et Somniorum. Ich unde in Christus. Oh, eternal thanks for carrying the crate. I'll be happy to share in the bounty of these apples with you once we meet up with your friend. Oh, surely. We will share the Lord's work with you. The iron tinge, you will taste it. We all have earned it after fasting. Fasting? Is that when you lack food for your God? Yes, we show our devotion, remove distraction. But now, we give in to the fruits of our Creator's work. Sharing an apple with a friend is the most sublime experience. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to sometimes sit back and simply enjoy an apple. Well, with our fortune always changing in life, it's important to enjoy simple pleasures. <laughs> Oh, I am so excited for you to see my friend and eat apples with us. <laughs> the act of walking, the pilgrimage we're going on. We will prostrate ourselves for Guthlack at the end of this glorious pilgrimage. Drown in his reward. Here we are, our tiny sanctuary. Join in prayer for the apples, if you like. We bob. Bob? It is the only way to piously reap the reward of our Holy Father. Praise be to him. Sessionum in honotime is the session. Quod sominum hominum session. Oh, Brother Hogwolf! And you made a friend as well! Good to have you back!
Those are good apples. Father's wallop is like none other. All it takes is one. Oh, such a fine wallop it is! Little ones, what is this wallop you speak of? It's our grandfather, and be careful unless you want a walloping. I am certain my might could clove his wallop. Many cowards have said the same. He uses only one fist, one wallop, boom! Like a wolf, howling with its knuckles. Well... This wallop has me curious. Ha! Good. Destiny is coming to your plate. Grandfather? There's someone looking for a walloping! Hello! Yes, I have overwhelmingly powerful strength, but it is not worth talking about. If you are a drenger, we should tell stories of battle, swill a cup of mead around a hearth, and share our wisdom. You want some wisdom? Don't become a hero like I have. I'm cursed with this wallop. These children have made me curious. Your calm demeanor even more so. Oh, I beg you. There's no need for this to go where I feel you think it should. <laughs> you best depart unless you desire your face become a fist cave. Children, stop saying such things. I do not want to use it. I truly wish to see this wallop. I will break it with my humble fists. Oh, neither of us will enjoy this, I'm afraid. That's enough! And so goes my day. There you have it. As promised, the null victory for me and my wallet. Oh, still unbeaten. Why, God? Come back if you want another taste of my endless victory. I know I don't want you to. Don't test my might, please. Hi, I have returned. I see. I suppose you want to see the wallop. Yes, it is time. I want to experience this wallop. This is a sad moment in time. Hold on to your teeth. <laughs> Aid me, O Lord. Don't say I didn't warn you. The disappointment you will feel, I also feel. <sighs> I'm tired. Down you go. I've never been bested before. I'm shocked. Stunned. I never thought it possible. You... I've thwarted my wallop. You may have access to the treasure my wallop has sadly gifted me over the years. Various awards for bashing skulls. Oh, I feel liberated of my legacy. Now I can live the normal life that is forever eluded. Thank the heavens. Hmm. The children kept a collection of those he had walloped. The treasure he promised. His wallop won him an ocean of riches.
hair gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is... Eivor, my muscle banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Soma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa... ...smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love... everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leif? Oh, Leif's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this... ...self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises showed. Best not to draw attention here. Light on your feet and quick through the grass. Sound carries over snowdrifts. I learned young. I practiced by sneaking in and out of bedroom windows every place I had. Brother. 
That's all of them. You fought very well, Birna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. the silo and manage our trade deals all the, the barley in that silo was watered by my blood and sweat yes and you get your share of silver when i sell it but you keep most of it of the thousand you made last month i got a measly 200 i deserve the extra profit i secured the sale and managed the tax endless hours of negotiating you there dane who deserves more the worker who makes the barley, or he who actually sells it? The silver should be shared equally. How am I to be encouraged to make all of these deals? My endless hustle, the paperwork, he couldn't sell his own eye. The barley would never even exist without me. My barley is known across Mercia and Essex. Sebi's slush! My soul is in the mug! Hmm. The situation is strained between these Angel, two brothers. The women gather the bravest slain warriors and bring them to Odin's all feast and fight forever. Ah, what a joke! <laughs> one shape like I wish our parents would get along like they used to. Before, when there was no silo, and we all shared the barley. Seems silly to think who gets more or what. We have enough. They just fight like dogs. Dogs who forgot why they're even barking in the first place. All they do is squabble. I remember a time when the barley brought us joy. We praised it, smelled it, rubbed it against our bellies. Hi, good farmer. I don't know what to do. I have such anger in me. 
Take a breath, drink some ale, and enjoy your hard work. No amount of silver is worth a broken friendship. Impossible, I'm afraid. When my blood boils, the world must know. In my home, there is only one way to settle this honorably. A home gang. You're right. Bollocks to him. I'll pummel him. Give him a taste of a laborer's fist. Fucker! I am stealing profits from what you. What have we become? You are Reduced stealing to dignity animals. from me. If I must raise my fist, I shall. Oh, I shall. Get uh. finished. Yeah. Uh. All they do is squabble. I remember a time when the barley brought us joy. We pressed it, smelled it, rubbed it against our bellies. <laughs> nice. It's Wito. I wish our parents would get along like they used to. Before, when there was no silo, and we all shared the barley. It seems silly to think who gets more or what. We have enough. They just fight like dogs. Dogs who forgot why they're <laughs> should rid them of what ails them. There is no other way. Oh my goodness! Our estate is aflame! <laughs> my barley! I can smell it burn! Oh god! <laughs> well, be gone with all of it! It has only torn us apart! Children! Has your family always been this quarrelsome? Yes, they have. But I hope that has changed thanks to your intervention. Even if it was drastic. Thank you. It is true that we were once all so happy. Perhaps we can now start a from scratch. I shall inform the local Waffingas that he lives among them through traces of the Nephilim, the giant warriors who fought for God in their ancient time. They have left his presence here on Earth for us to absorb his light, the light of angels that have been infused throughout the Earth. I feel his power. He calls me my beloved, and I am calmed. I respondeth with my communion, my piety, and become another of his voices. Forces work here. This breeze blows as much air as a hailstorm. You cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you say? Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The Great Summer Army, the Saxons called us. 
When Guthrum left for Wessex, so must have forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. What would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrun made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trade. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leaf. Now let's take down Wickman's men. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. <laughs> Need to cloak myself here. straightforward approach. But for you, I'll try something new. How kind. Now keep your voice down. priest is in the church. Well, well. 
I may be a villain for sacrifice, but this church is lovely. I know this reference when I see it. will not poison the Shire anymore. We should leave. Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Yeroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. Oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> ah! That home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned.
Eivor. What did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely, hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler. Hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead. And to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me. As a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. Gallen puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape. And Gallen sees an important meaning. Gallen told me he was near death when you found him, and saved his life. Yes. People thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? I need more time to think. Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. War himself could now drink rain. Not the regular sunbeam I've come to know. Something weighing on you. I was wondering on a few things. It must ache to serve under someone you love so deeply, one who doesn't love you back. Some days the pain hits hard. I need to press my hand into my heart to keep it from digging through my chest. You are a smuggler. Some would say that's not a trustworthy past. And water is wet. What a surprise. I'm an opportunist. I see a chance, I take it. It's helped Soma so far. She knows what I am, what I was. But she trusts me. Who would better know the difference between a joke and the truth? What happened the night of the attack? The people were at peace. A beautiful night, fog and all. Then came the Saxons all around. And Soma roaring like a great bear. When she called a retreat, we ran for the longboats, aiming to regroup in the swamps. It was an ambush, no more, no less. Someone in the city led the Saxons through the Longhouse Tunnel. When the fighting started, where were you? Drinking with my warriors in the Longhouse. When the Saxons came, I fought. I couldn't have shown anyone the tunnel. Eyes were on me all day and night.
These bags are Viernes. Packed for a long journey. Eivor, you look like the wind has flipped your sails. What's going on? I was wondering. You told me you often disagree with Soma's orders. I do, but I follow them. It's my duty to this clan, to my Yal's Kona. A man's honor comes from his acts, not his wishes. You said your yellow paint was stolen before the attack. Aye. And yellow is not an easy pigment to mix, let alone acquire. I was furious it was stolen. How did you feel when Guthrum named Soma the steward of Grand Bridge and not you? If being honorable were easy, we would have no evil men. It is something I... I wanted, sure. But I'm a man of honor, above all. How did the night of the attack play out from your view? I was working in the shipyards. Next thing I knew, the city was burning from the inside. Then Soma led our retreat. Leif. Someone showed the Saxons the Longhouse Tunnel. Where were you when the attack started? What were you doing? When the fighting started, I was in my workshop, decorating a sail for our allies in Grimsby. Without my yellow paint. By the time Soma gathered me to retreat, the city was under attack from within. I was nowhere near the tunnel. Nowhere. Eivor, this is a surprise. I was wondering... ...the visions you've had about you and Soma. How do you interpret them? A piercing question. I believe it means that Soma will lead me to greatness, however difficult. That she is linked to my destiny. Why were you at Death's door when Soma found you? I left my clan to pursue my vision. I don't remember much. The sacred plans addled my memory. But I was hungry for more visions. You may not understand, but Soma does. She knows the gods have a plan for me, and that following it is worth any risk. Did you see anything odd when the attack began? I did. I saw a wave of Saxons appear in the heart of Grand Bridge, as if by magic. Odd as wings on an eel. I fought ragged to the brink of death from one night to the next. You saw the end of it. Wolves almost took me. I'm trying to find who betrayed Soma to the Saxons. I could use your help. I wish I could help. The night of the attack I was meditating on the shore far from prying eyes. I was alone that night. And until Saxons appeared, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I hope that's enough.
Hale, did you see anything strange on the night before the attack? I saw someone run from the outskirts of Grant Bridge to the shore, just before the fighting started. Too dark to see who. Did anything strange happen before the attack on Grandbridge? I saw two Saxons riding past the city while I was on guard. One to the Melbourne Monastery and one toward the uh, Utbeck camp. I think they were messengers. I didn't think anything of it since they weren't coming here. This was a fine longship, fit for a chief. It must belong to Soma. Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beached here. Then they sailed off with allies to help crew the vessel.
I bow to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth. This poem is about Leaf. Did he write this about himself? Here's a poem about Birna. Hi, stranger. Excuse me, I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a, a battle scar. Ah, as I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes. If he is headless. My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Good Dringer. You have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out. But you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah. Valhalla it is. 
I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the Corpse Hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you, send you down the Bifrost. It is time. Oh, there's a great mead hall nearby. We could go there and reflect on our greatest exploits. All your enemies have been slain. Now you rejoice. Survivors ran into the fog, pursued by half the party, while the other bandits looted it. This carving references Gallon in verse. This longship is splashed with yellow paint. A quick job. Why would it be painted a different color than the others? This longship is splashed with yellow paint. A quick job. Why would it be painted a different color than the others? Did you see anything the night of the attack? Only Lif, fighting bravely. Did you know Lif carves a poem in each of his longships? He's a craftsman and a wordsmith. Where are these longships now? Lost in the fog of the Fenlands, sadly. If I could reclaim them, I would. To return his works of art, he'd be so grateful. To be sure. Good luck to you. You there. Did you see anything strange around Grand Bridge before the attack? I didn't. I was in the longhouse drinking with Birna and her man all night. She can really put it away. Did you find enough clues around Grampridgeshire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? A local said they saw someone running from the outskirts of the city to the river, just before the attack. Did they recognize the person? No, they couldn't be seen in the fog, but whoever it was, they knew something bad was coming. 
I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. There's no yellow on our longships beyond some small details. If there is a yellow longship in the fence, I want to know. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Galen betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death. But killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. Will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She's a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both.